Welcome to New Possibilities. With each new day, there are new possibilities. There was this story that I saw a couple of days ago, and I want to share it with you all. I think it's very important to let people know about these things, you know, about the accomplishments of our people. And that's the primary purpose of this channel, to bring good news to our people, you know, positive developments, you know, about pioneers who've done great things in our community. Hopefully these examples will inspire our young people to do better and to be better, to be great. So I'm gonna share this um, article with you all. I'm gonna share my screen. Just bear with me one second. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so. Also, I encourage you to hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I post new content. So I saw this article um, on Facebook and a couple of similar articles about Dr. Gladys West. You know, she's um, an accomplished mathematician. Uh, she was instrumental in the creation of GPS systems. You know, those are the systems that we use every single day to guide ourselves, like when we're in a vehicle and we don't know where we're going, we just put in the address and, you know, and then we're able to get to our destination. It maps out our destination, tells us which roads to go on and all that. This sister was instrumental in developing, you know, the groundwork that led to that technology. And so what I'm going to do is read some excerpts from this, and then I'm going to show you one other article and then provide my brief commentary. This uh, talks about how this sister was inducted into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame earlier this month. You know, and often what happens is we highlight athletes, we highlight entertainers, people that sing and dance people that make us laugh and people that act. And all of that is important, but not often enough do we highlight, you know, pioneers in science and math and science and, um, you know, technology. We need to highlight that instead of just like focusing on entertainment and celebrating entertainers, we need to push more of our young people into the math and sciences and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this sister was, among a small group of women who did computing for the US military in the era before electronic systems. She was hired in 1956 as a mathematician for the US Naval Weapons Laboratory. And she participated in path-breaking, award-winning um, astronomical study, you know, which was very important, you know, that helped um, proved the regularity of uh, Pluto's motion relative to Neptune. You know, this is some very groundbreaking stuff, you know, that needs to get more attention. And this also goes into what I said earlier about her laying the groundwork for the GPS system that we use every single day. Um, she was inducted at the Pentagon on December 6th. So let me go to another article that provides some additional background information about this sister. So I, I won't repeat some of the things that were already said, but the thing that's very important about this is that this took place during a time of segregation, you know, during the time of Jim Crow, like in the 50s, you know, and this sister was able to get her education. Um, you know, it talks about how she grew up and all she knew is that she didn't want to work in the fields picking tobacco, corn and cotton. And that's what her, her parents did. So she realized that she needed to do better. And she realized that she needed to get an education into the, in order to get out of that circumstance. And at her particular high school, you know, whoever graduated as valedictorian and uh, salutatorian, they were given a full scholarship to uh, Virginia State College. Now it's called the university. And so what she did is she studied, she graduated at the top of her class and she got a free ticket to college and she majored in math and she taught for two years in Sussex County. And then she went on to do a lot of the great things that we already talked about. So I just wanted to take out time to honor this sister, 
you know, for her um, accomplishments, you know, and also to use her as an example of what we can, we're capable of doing. Like, you know, often we associate technology with white people and with, you know, Asian people, but we, we have a great history as people. You know, we have done great things in developing math, science, you know, technology. You know, the first civilizations on this planet were black civilizations. And um, it's great to see modern day examples of black people inventing things, you know, doing great things in terms of technology, because often they have depicted black people as primitive, as uncivilized, as incapable, of, you know, this type of um, knowledge and, you know, these types of skills. And it's great to see, you know, courageous examples like this sister defying the odds, you know, at a time when math and science was dominated by white men, this woman prevailed in her field. And even today, you know, it's rare that you will have a lot of, um, you know, black women doing scientific work and, you know, black people, period. Uh, so again, we just need to emphasize like more um, well-roundedness in our community instead of like for forcing everybody to go down the entertainment route or the basketball route or some kind of sports route. We need more people in these arts and sciences. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now and just see what people are saying. This is a, a channel that I rarely post on, but I plan to post on here more often. Uh, there's good news that needs to be shared with the world about the accomplishments of our people. And right now, it's, you know, this is a relatively new channel with, um, you know, a few subscribers. So I don't expect a lot of people to be tuning in right at this second. So hopefully people will catch this on the playback. Immediately after this particular hangout, I'm going to do another hangout talking about some great things that Jay-Z and Beyonce are doing to fight poverty. So again, I want to thank you know the people that are watching this video. Uh, again, if you are not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel, like the video, share the video, and um, you know, also hit that notification bell so that you'll know right away when I post new content. Peace.